So if you have read the description correctly, you'll know today I'll be playing with some lemons. Oh, I know, joke's getting old now, I'll stop it. So this is another mega super easy recipe I've found. There's five unwaxed lemons there. I'm just gonna peel those and try not to get much of the pith, which is the white part underneath that peel. And once I've peeled them, I'm gonna chuck that all into 250 ml of 90% ABV spirit. Right, so that was super easy. There we go. Just peeled those lemons using a potato peeler and added it to the alcohol. So I'm going to do the same thing as what I did with the oranges. And now I've just got to leave them for five days or so. There we have it, about five days later, and an absolutely gorgeous colour on this already. And the usual next step from this is obviously just to uh, chuck it through a sieve or some muslin. So there's my 250ml of 90% ABV uh, infused lemon. Now, obviously you don't want to drink this at 90% ABV, so you have to uh, water it down. So in this case, you're using a very simple sugar and water mix to make a syrup. Uh, so what I did was 500 ml of water, brought that to a boil, added 250 grams of white granulated sugar, let that sit for a, a simmering boil for about 10 minutes. And what you have to do is obviously let that cool right down, all the way down to uh, like a lukewarm, and then obviously measure out 500 ml of that syrup and add it to uh, this alcohol so here we go chuck it on in there and watch it completely changing color and this will bring it down to a nice 30 percent abv if you are doing this yourself and you haven't started with 90 percent abv at the beginning just use an online calculator to work out your ratios with what how much syrup you're going to add so this is the uh, end of it, the final product of the lemon liqueur. Um, and it looks okay. That is next to the bottle of the orange that I did in the other video. Uh, it's not very well um, pronounced in the video, but in real life there is a nice little colour difference between the two. And uh, as with any of my videos, they're nothing new, they're nothing groundbreaking. All I'm doing is literally just ripping off the other recipes online and the YouTube videos and I'm just showing you basically my results of what I get and what I like and what I don't like. But let's try the lemon. Quite excited about this one. It's very, it's, that is a subtle hint, subtle aroma of lemon that I'm getting on this one. Oh yeah, Ooh. yeah, that is super smooth. Um, not too lemony, not acidic in any way, shape or form. Um, that's the kind of drink that you could just drink all the time without even knowing it's got alcohol in it. Um, but in saying that, that is down to a 30% ABV, um, whereas opposed to the orange that is still up it to a 40 uh, that probably is the tipping point for myself, my palate anyway. 30-35% um, ABV for me is quite drinkable in obviously small quantities. 40% um, on only a few things I can drink neat and it normally needs to be um, with a tonic or watered down if I'm going a bit higher. So that may be why um, the orange needs slightly tweaking somewhat from 40% ABV. But this one's about the lemon, and that has come out very nice. Um, yeah, that is superb. That is a definite keeper, that one, again. Um, so thanks very much, all YouTube, for yet another highly recommended uh, recipe to follow. And um, the outcome is, has not disappointed me at all. So, yeah, there's another one to go on the shelf.
semi-mature before it gets drunk and then um, look forward to making some more so until next time yeah you know keep on shining and all that business thank you So if you watch the uh, to the end of the video and realize there's still a little bit extra on the end this is the reason why yeah, it's just me messing about with the uh, lemon spirit um, very happy indeed with the outcome of this one really did work well and uh, what I'm doing here is just I've got two shot glasses just dripping in uh, just a few drops of the sugar syrup in there just to see how much you needed just to change the color on it really so a few drops in there, a bit of a stir around. Obviously, a few drops in 10 milliliters isn't really going to change it a great deal, as you can see there. And then, uh, so the next thing I did was just to add five mil of the syrup, and that worked, made it down to somewhere around 60% ABV. And there you go, and you immediately see the color change. So the shot glass, on the left um, had some uh, glycerin kicking about so I decided to uh, squeeze a bit of that in there thinking that's quite gloopy and thick obviously it's a um, vegetable sweetener in extract um, and that didn't really change the colour at all in it and as you see still pretty crystal clear in comparison to the left hand side jar which is the original so we decided to chuck an absolute ton in there just to see if it would thicken up and completely change color like it did with the, uh, the water and the sugar syrup stirred it up and uh, yeah it's, it didn't really didn't really cloud up at all that one did it So there's obviously something in the water makes the molecules all sort of clump together and make it cloudy. So what I've done on the right hand side again was to add, um, it was another 5ml of this syrup. Um, obviously the colour change on the camera doesn't really pick it up but it's, you can see the difference there, it's almost turned like a milky colour. Obviously in real life it wasn't quite like that. So. Um, the next step here was the shot glass in the middle there with the uh, glycerin in. All I did was to put roughly about the same amount as the other one, which was 5ml of water, bringing it down to 45% ABV. And this is just plain tap water, just to shoot in and see what happens, and look at that. And they both now look pretty much identical. I did manage to take a quick sip of the two of these and considering how much glycerin I put in that one um, I actually think I preferred the uh, sugar syrup one. So for a case of back sweetening I think the syrup worked very well with this.